Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today, obviously, Mad City has been updated. I don't think it, it hasn't just come out. A lot of people think it's just come out. It has just been updated uh, recently. Uh, big update, which means it's currently the most played game on Roblox and arguably it is overtaking completely jailbreak in terms of, you know, enjoyment in the same type of game because obviously they're both games about cops and criminals uh, and at the moment Mad City is... Um, completely destroying jailbreak but who knows we'll see if that continues but basically what we're going to do in today's video is i'm going to show you the best ways of getting money on mad city i've been playing it non-stop recently and um i've learned all of the robberies you can do all of the you know the little shop robberies the heists and also just ways to farm up some xp which i think they'll probably end up taking out the game but any anyway let's um get on the video Right, I am in little camera mode, which means we are ready to go, guys. We're ready to go. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to type in Mad City. And we're going to see that Mad City has 47,000 people playing. Jailbreak has 22,000. I mean, Mad City's like rate to Jailbreak's is kind of poor, but we don't look at that. Right, I apologize if throughout this video, I am just sniffing. Because um, as I typically am, I'm ill. Um, that's just kind of my life at the moment. Right, boom. There's no police. That's kind of crazy. How many heroes are there? Okay, there's a lot of heroes. Right, so for our first robbery, what we're going to do is we're going to get off the jailbreak island. The jailbreak island? The prison island. And we're going to go down left along the road. And then we're just going to scur to this building here. As you can see, it has a little X on the window. We're just going to pull up. Okay, that was supposed to be a lot cooler. Then we're just going to lock pick the door. So from this house, I believe you get about $2,250. Maybe $2,750. Yeah, I'm, I'll check. I've, I've got a, a, a thing that has all the money on it. So that's $1,250. And then you want to lock pick this door as well. So, to, so far, $1,250. Lock pick this door. St take this jewel. This will make it $1,750 because this is $500. Okay, $1,750. Uh, that's another 250, so that's 2,000, 2,250. There's, there's a glitch at the moment where the price sometimes doesn't show up, which is annoying. Uh, and then another 500, so yeah, that again, that didn't show up. And then you break the glass and you just come out of here. Okay, so at the moment there are two of these types of buildings on the map, and um, I, I will show you. I'll show you it. Right, okay, and I've just seen the bank is open, so I'm just going to scurry my way to the bank. Um, so, essentially on this game, there are three main heists, which is the bank, the jewellery store, and the casino. Um, I'm pretty sure the bank opens the most, uh, like the quickest. The jewellery store is the slowest, and the casino is just somewhere in the middle. But that's because the bank is $3,000. The, um, the jewellery store is $5,000. And the casino is $4,000. Uh, in the casino, as I'll show you, there's also you can also rub the slot machines. But we'll say that. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't have a gun. Oh, no. Um. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Please. Please kill him. Please get him. Please don't die. If you die, I don't rob the bank. Oh, you killed him. Nice. Okay, so in the bank, you kind of just have to crawl under these lasers. Or if you've got the superior thing, you can fly over the top. Oh, please be a good guy. Oh, Jesus, that's not a good guy. Oh, I really hope that this guy... No. Oh. No, please don't think there's someone in here. <gasps> we run. We run. <gasps> okay. That's a baddie. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we just robbed 3,000. You can also rob the ATMs out the front. These two, they both yield $200 each. You can get 400 there, so that's a total of 3,400 from the bank. And now what you have to do is um, there is a criminal base type thing on this game. And uh, every time you do a robbery, just like in Jailbreak, you have to go back to the criminal base. 
uh, which isn't too far away. You just have to kind of drive around here to near the boat and then open the gate, go inside, uh, drop off your cash. As soon as you get in, you will get robbery success. And then here you can also pick up some guns. I'm just going to take an AK because I can't be getting everything else. I'm also going to put on the uh, Yo for merch, uh, as you can see I'm wearing. Uh, we have a lot of merch if you go to our Roblox group, which we are created. If you want to grab some merch, you know, link will be in the description. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we're currently in a game with some people who are pretty good, which is um, a problem. Okay, so right here, we also have the boat, guys. This is the boat. The boat comes and stays for three minutes. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it comes like twice in a day. You have, you kind of have to go under those lasers, but I go over them because going under takes ages. Uh, and you come up and you stand in here. Normally, if you're the first one here, you have to come up to this door and it will break open. But, um, obviously, some people have already been here. So we are just going to wait here. This yields about, not about, it does yield 2,000 cash. And again, you're going to have to take it back to the criminal base. But yeah, as I say, you only have three minutes to uh, rob this boat. Uh, and once once the three minutes is up, uh, the boat will start moving and you kind of get thrown off the boat. Which isn't too fun, but, you know, it happens. Right. So we've got the 2,000 from this. This is also classed as another robbery. So, um... Uh, if I make a video on how to, you know, level up quickly, as you can see, I'm already ranked 41. I will uh, teach you guys about that. But as you can see, I just ranked up again, got another 2,000 from that, uh, and some XP because it counted as a robbery. Right, so now we're going to exit, and we are going to make our way to the casino, which we can see is now open. The way you can see if something is open is um, obviously the bank and the jewelry store currently are greyed out, but the casino is kind of purple. Which means that the casino is open. Um, the jewelry store is kind of hard to see when it's open because um, the colour is not that different from the normal colour. But once you come in here, you can rob these slot machines for one hundred dollars each. So, I mean, it's not a load of money. Uh, again, it's not showing, but it is one hundred dollars. You get four of them. That's four hundred dollars. I typically don't rob the slot machines because I just think for four hundred dollars, it takes quite a bit of time. And if you're in a game with good heroes and cops, you know. You need that extra time to get away. So once you are in the casino place, you have to pull all of these levers. Um, one thing I've noticed is that if you are a big Roblox character, or if you've got um, big arms or something, it's really hard to get across here. Um, so mine is kind of difficult, so I have to look backwards and activate it. Um, oh no, he's dead. Also, don't touch the lasers because they'll kill you, as you just saw. Oh, there's a, I didn't even know there's a grate there. That's kind of cool. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in here. Um, what I kind of like about this is uh, obviously it's more money. It's four thousand dollars, but you can. Okay, they patched that. Ignore everything I just said. The the baddies come out there. So you... well, I mean we are the baddies, but you know the baddies of the baddies, the goodies, come out of there. We get four thousand cash, no more, then we leave. And I don't remember this great being here. Maybe they recently added it, or I've just been stupid for the days I've been playing it. But anyway, oh god, you crawl through the grate, crawl out of here. Everything is okay. Um, wow, this is new. Yeah, this is definitely new. Okay, well, you run along here, come to this elevator. You call the elevator, you get in the elevator. The elevator will probably take you up. Unless this is all a trap and we're going to the police base. Jesus. Okay, let's, let's kind of hide to the side. Wow. Are we on the top floor? There's a swimming pool and everything. How do we get out of here? Ah, okay, there's X's on the window, guys. What you're going to want to do is break the glass and just jump. Uh, I say just jump because you always open a parachute on this game. Which is, you know, kind of handy. I don't think I've ever died from falling. I don't think you can. Uh, and as we've just jumped out of here, we come to this golden statue. The bank is just there. I just got a Discord message. Okay, and so this yellow building here, you can also loot. This is one of my favourites. So what you're going to want to do is just come in through the front door. There's two cash machines on the desk. You're just going to smash and grab. These are 500 each. No, they're 250 each. Wait. Wait there. Let me check this. 250 each. They are definitely 250 each. Oh, wait. I also need to return this back to the criminal base. Oh, God. I'm really doing this in a bad order. Uh, but basically, this just shows you it doesn't matter. If you've just looted the bank and um, you are looking... 
to loot some other little places, not big heists. You can do. This is worth a thousand. So therefore, all together from that, we got one thousand five hundred, which is kind of cool. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my car um, and I'm going to make my way back to the criminal base. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're in robbery success. Another $4,000. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this yellow building, come back to this statue and go left. Uh, and once we've gone left, we're going to come to the second one of these houses that I was talking about. The first place we've robbed. Uh, this is going to give you exactly the same amount of money as the first one, which was 2,750, 2,500, 2,250. I can't remember. I've got a document, as I said, and I will uh, put the stuff on the screen if I can be bothered. I will be bothered. Okay, so again, 1,250. We're not going to see it. They really need to fix that. Um, Lockpick this door. From this room, you're going to get another 1,000 because 500, 250, 250. Uh, boom. 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 Okay. It doesn't take very long to rob these places, which is good. Uh, and then we're going to lockpick this door, and then we'll get the money on the side. Uh, and then if you don't want to break the window, you know, you can just kind of come out the front. Sometimes I just prefer to do that, because it doesn't really take too long to do that compared to breaking a window. But anyway, what we're going to then do is turn around like I just did, follow the road back along. And as you can see, there is a little green building at the end of here. We are going to that green building. Uh, I think... The building we're coming to is the uh, the worst robbery you can do, or the joint worst. Not really a rob. Well, yeah, it is a robbery. It's another one of those smash and grabs. But um, it's five hundred dollars. All you have to do is kind of pull up into the car park. Oh, I really wanted to land in a space that would have been so nice. Pull up into the car park, run in. Oh no, is that? A okay. Okay. Okay, we killed him. As you can see, for each kill, you get $25 and 25 XP. And that is unlimited. You just keep getting that every time you kill them. And considering they all spawn in the same place, aka either the police base or the hero base, you could technically just sit there and shoot them over and over again. Which um, I think they need to take out the game. I do not believe you should get that much money um, from killing people. But anyway, $500 from that store. Uh, so now we're just... Oh no, there's a baddie. We're going to drive under this bridge. Come out here. Basically, all of the stuff you need to loot is near the bank. Kind of. Well, it's not. That's a lie. But a lot of it is. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the bank is a good way. Because I don't really know my way around this map properly. But a bank is a good way to, you know, sort of get an idea. So next we're coming to this petrol station. Which, again, is pretty close to the bank. Uh, there's two petrol stations on the game. There's also one by the gun store over there. Which I'll take you guys to soon. But we're going to do a smash and grab, and we're going to get $750 from this building. Uh, so obviously, these aren't huge amounts of money, but they're really nice when you're kind of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, that happened. That was that was kind of, kind, of, kind of scary. Oh, we can also pick up his inferno thing. This is beautiful. Okay, so now I've picked up his thing. What I can do is become this and just fly around, which is lovely, which is how we're going to get around now, guys. Okay, so basically what I was saying is that I know these aren't big robberies, these, these little ones, but it's nice when you're waiting for the buildings to open to just be able to go and get some extra money. Um, so where we're going to go to next is we're just going to... Did he see me? It's just going to fly along here again near the bank, drop down to this green building here. Run in the front door, and this is another five hundred dollars. So we're going to smash and grab this little thing, which will give us two hundred and fifty, and then smash and grab the next little thing, which will also give us two hundred and fifty dollars, which is pretty insane. Uh, I've worked out you're looking to get around if you just do every single thing you can. As you can see, the bank is open again before both of these, even though the bank was the first one we robbed, and that is because it is the it gives you the least amount of money. Um, I've just realised the green building is literally right next to this green building and I didn't even know that. Okay, so we're not going to rob the bank again because um, we just robbed the bank. But as you can see, the jewellery store is now open. I don't know if you just saw the colour it was, but it's kind of like a, a pale blue, which kind of looks like the grey, which is annoying. When it's flashing blue and red, it means it's being robbed. Um, so get there super quick. Uh, the jewellery store is kind of the, the hardest to rob, I'd say, because... You, you kind of need to, you can't just sit in a room and do stuff. 
you actually need to do stuff. But anyway, what, what you got to do is you just got to punch these things. And you'll get 500 each. Again, it's not working, say, in the numbers. But we're getting 500 per one. They respawn really quickly. So you've got to punch 10 of them to get um, 5,000. There is also a jewel at the end, which you can see there, which also gives you 500 if you go and um, break that glass, not break that glass, if you make your way through the lasers and get it, but I personally don't think it's worth it, so st stay clear on that. I can hear baddies coming in, which is kind of scaring me. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not getting any more jewels, which means there's a baddie in here. Run. Jesus Christ, run. Oh, bye guys. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is make your way through those lasers. I obviously didn't because I just flew over the top of them with this guy. But it is what you've got to do. And then we'll come out and just fly away. And you have to take this 5,000 back to the criminal base. Uh, so the thing about the jewelry store is because it is so much money, there isn't other stuff around it that you can rob. So like with the bank, you can get $400 from robbing both of the ATMs, um, which are 200 each. And then the casino, obviously there's four... Um, little slot machines and if you rob them you'll get 400 at 100 each uh, the jewelry store because it is 5,000 and the most money you can get from a robbery there is nothing around it uh, the boat as you can see is just pulled away and that guy is being just thrown to the back because you can't stay on it that looks like a oh it's a good guy that's fine okay so we're just gonna take this money back and we've got another 5,000 plus 500 XP for completing the robbery right now I believe the last one we have left to do is um, the final gun store. Um, not the gun store. The, the petrol station by the gun store. Uh, unless there is one that I just have not seen yet. Which would be kind of crazy. Um, but also, good thing to mention is that around the map, sometimes there are airdrops, like on Jailbreak. Mm -hmm. um, so what you do with those airdrops, basically, is they land in uh, and you have to rob them. If it's a green one, you get... 2,000. If it's a gold airdrop, you get 3,000. You have to take these back to the criminal base. Uh, and Oh, look. Oh, there's... Really? There's... Okay, there's a gold airdrop, guys. This is perfect. So, basically, it comes out the sky. The gold airdrop is the one you get the most money from. You get 3,000, I do believe. Uh, I hope this is a good guy. Um, so, yeah, they, they drop in. I don't know how often they drop in, but they drop in. Uh, and you just kind of stand by it like this. And you will get 3,000. Hi. Just a nice little robbery talk. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Okay. That's a, that's a scary plane. Um, this game is very um glitchy at the moment. But obviously, it has just been updated and there is a lot of people playing it. So, I, I can forgive it. But yeah, the, the, the airdrops drop in. I, I don't really know how often. Um, but, you know, fairly often. Not that often. Uh, and I think it just depends which one you get. A green one, as I said, is $2,000. The gold one is $3,000. And then I think it's a blue one or a red one. And you get a ray gun from it. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so now we are by the gun store. And we're going to go in here. And we can do another smash and grab. Which is the final robbery we can do. So that's 250 250 250 That is $750 right here. Okay, so it goes, as I have worked out, if you rob everything, all of the, do, do all the heists, you do all the ATMs, all of the slot machines, all of the mini sort of side, not very much robberies, the boat, and you get the, the green and the gold airdrop, you will be robbing around $30,000, which is pretty insane. Uh, obviously, the green and the yellow airdrop, you can't rob that often because they're not there that often. But, um, you know, if you were, hypothetically, to get them all, you would be making nearly $30,000. Uh, but without them, it's probably... A bit, yeah, about $25,000 per time robbing everything. Which is a decent amount. Which means if you did a round trip of the map when everything was open, you'd make $25,000. You do that 10 times, you make $250,000. Uh, and, and that is it. Guys, that is every single way you can make money in this game. Guys, that is the, f the fastest ways of making money in the game. Just grinding it out, robbing everywhere. Uh, and I hope this has helped you to show you where all of the robberies are. So, um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Or the next stream. It really depends on which one you go to.